Deer Creek Audio, your trusted technical resource. How do I convert a DTS or Dolby Digital Bitstream for my 3.1 home theater system without losing any audio detail? Using a Mini DSP Flex HT, you can create a decoded 3.1 AV system by converting the DTS or Dolby input. The key to success is the proper downmixing of the 7.1 channel content to 3.1. This example is for a TV-centric audio system with a compact profile that provides high-fidelity sound for smaller spaces, or where room aesthetics take precedence. If your stereo system is already set up with a TV, or you are planning to add a TV to your listening space, then this solution is an easy and non-intrusive choice. It also reduces the need to route cables or install speakers on the rear and side walls. It's critical that the incoming DTS or Dolby Bitstream is properly converted for a 3.1 layout. To accomplish this, the surround channels are routed back and mixed into the main channels. The LFE input signal is then combined with low frequencies from the front left, right, and center channels. This method uses sources that can decode DTS and Dolby into linear pulse code modulation, or LPCM, and are connected to the TV. Devices that can decode the bitstream include Apple TV, Lumen, Roku, and Oppo. In our example using Apple TV, we send the decoded LPCM to a smart TV. The TV then passes the LPCM via eARC to the Mini DSP Flex HT. From here, the Flex HT downmixes all of the audio content into 3.1 channels that are then sent to the amplifiers, speakers, and subwoofers. If your setup does not convert bitstream audio into LPCM, then you can use an adapter such as the OREI HDA934, which converts DTS or Dolby Digital into eARC LPCM. The system wiring is completed as following eARC from TV or HDMI processor to Flex HT, RCA cable from Flex HT to subwoofer. RCA cables from Flex HT to three amplifier channels. Speaker wire connections from the amplifiers to left, right, and center speakers. The down conversion from 7.1 to 3.1 on the Flex HT is a matrix-based process. This is illustrated in the signal flow diagram and incorporates the following. Front, left, and right channels receive their own signal. Surround and rear channels are then mixed into the front channels. The center channels pass through. The subwoofer channel is composed of the low frequencies from the main left and right, LFE, and center channels, which are then routed to the subwoofer output. Device consoles the user interface that allows you to configure the setup pages in the Flex HT, including signal routing, crossover frequencies, relative levels, parametric equalization, and or Dirac Live. In this example, we use the base management and channel routing pages to downmix the 7.1 channel content to 3.1 content in a way that preserves all of the audio details. The signals are combined and routed to their respective speakers, as shown in the following diagrams. Note, we have added 10 dB to the LFE input channel, which is required due to the 10 dB of attenuation that occurs in the AV mastering process. Here's a more detailed view of the signal flow diagram that focuses on the base management page. On the channel routing page, we are mixing and splitting the default 7.1 channels coming in over HDMI eARC to match the requirements of our 3.1 system. The surround and rear channels are attenuated by 3 dB and then mixed into the front left and right channels. This attenuation prevents the surround content from overwhelming the front main content. The Output Channels page allows you to modify the signals being sent to the speakers and subwoofers. This is where you'll set individual channel parameters for proper, balanced sound with clear voices and tight, powerful bass. These critical settings are completed prior to final room correction and include gain, crossover, delay, and inversion. First, you'll measure the output levels and delays with REW. Next, you'll adjust the gain and delay settings for each output, front left, front right, center, and subwoofer, to achieve proper balance and time alignment in your room. 
Using test tones, you'll confirm your 3.1 setup is correctly configured prior to room correction. Once base management is set up, the channel should look something like this before your Dirac or REW project. Dirac Live and REW Auto EQ are the best options when it comes to your room correction project. Dirac Live is a powerful, high-performance room correction algorithm that operates in both the time and frequency domain. A Dirac project is performed after all of the other system setups have been completed and verified. Please refer to the section on configuring Dirac Live in the FlexHT user guide for details. When Dirac calibrates, it will lower the level of the subwoofer channel to match the speakers. As this is not a desired result, you can use these steps to avoid the issue. Step 1. On the output page, reduce the subwoofer channel by 10 dB. Step 2. Run your Dirac Live project. Step 3. Increase the subwoofer channel by 10 dB. Step 4. Confirm the levels are as expected by running a measurement with REW. Once your Dirac project is complete and you have added 10 dB back to the subwoofer channel, the graph will look like this. You can see the frequency response curves are much flatter and smoother. The optional REW Auto EQ feature provides a simplified measurement and equalization tool for users to gain quick room correction results. REW Auto EQ is launched from within the relevant PEQ block in Device Console. When Auto EQ is performed, REW calculates a correction EQ based on the measurement and displays the result. Using a signal flow diagram, you can easily plan your system layout before actual implementation. It also helps you spot potential problems and work through solutions. A blank template is available through the link in the description below. Be sure to visit us at DeerCreekAudio.com for more resources, tech blogs, and product details. Keep watching our YouTube channel for more video releases.